Even the heroic figures that came before us, with the occasional exception like Gustave de Molinari, did not consider the possibility that so many state functions they took for granted could be provided within the market nexus they otherwise admired. For brand new philosophical school, and the one most people encounter only in caricature at the hands of the media, intellectuals, and political figures who despise it, we're doing extremely well. Our views are the opposite of what the ruling classes want to be here, and the opposite of the superstitions those classes seek to spread among the public. There are millions of us now. We have a greater ability to reach and educate people than ever before, and thereby increase our numbers still more. Libertarians of the future will look back on this period in history and wonder why many of us are so glum. This was when the explosion and growth occurred, and we were too busy comparing ourselves to Democrats and Republicans. Libertarians, we know, know that a lot of the news the public thinks is good is actually not so good, whether it's the passage of destructive legislation with pleasant sounding names, or economic news that sounds positive but in fact indicates bubble conditions. We're skilled at finding hard truths beneath the sacred and sacrament, saccharine surface of state propaganda. But when it comes to the growth of our movement and the spread of our ideas, by any reasonable standard, the news is all good. Let's recognize it and build on it. Thank you.